What's going on, YouTube? It's Chief Text Films, your tour guide on the road to elevating your image. And today, I'm going to show you how to switch up from Adobe Premiere to DaVinci Resolve. All right, first, let's open up the project that you got in Premiere. So, I got the uh, this Coach Cap project. Now, reasons why you would want to transfer over is because you're tired of Adobe. Uh, you just got the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, and you want to learn DaVinci Resolve, or you want to, you know, switch over to Resolve to Resolve for good from Premiere. And as you can see, I get this pop up. I'm trying to switch everything over before the last day they let me access all of these files. So. We're going to open the project. I'm going to offline these files. There we go. So, as you can see, the only thing that's not connected is the After Effects projects or the After Effects um, dynamic links that I had in here. I wouldn't expect that to be carried over to eventually resolve anyway. So, um, this project is pretty much intact. Um, I had these color grades on here. They are light color grade, nothing serious anyway. So um, I doubt those transfer over also. So what we're going to do is just transfer over. All right, so this is how you do it. You click on File, then you click on Export. Then you click on Final Cut Pro XML. We're gonna save this. I already saved it as a Coach Cap, so we're gonna we're gonna do this one. Coach Cap underscore one. All right, you get this little dialog box. It's just telling you to check the report um, for any errors. Uh, click OK, and now let's open up DaVinci Resolve. Now, I got the free, well, not a free version, but the version that came with my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, which is Resolve um, 16. Well, 15 came with it. I just updated to 16. Um, I believe it's still in beta, so it's still some things in here that need to be fixed, but for the most part, it works. Let's let this load up. All right, so we're just going to open up a untitled project. Um, if you don't know how to do the, to set up a project, I'm going um, to do a separate video on that. But right now, we're just going to open an untitled project. And then from here, I go to, to the media pool and click on import, import timeline. Import timeline AAF, EDL, or XML. So XML is what we're looking for. Click on that. Let's go to Coach Cap underscore one. Um, everything right here is pretty much intact. I just click OK. Click on Final Cut Pro 10 just in case, you know, for the uh, the frame the mix form for the mix frame rate format. Click OK. All right, so if you get this uh, dialog box from experience, you're not going to find this file no matter where you have them search at. But if you do have them search, it's going to take forever for them to search the file that you want them to go to. So just click no on that. All right, and you get these these error messages, which it's nothing heavy, um, nothing too serious. So just click close. Like I said, the only thing that's not going to come over is that dynamic link from After Effects. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. We can just put another file in there, you know, in the meantime. And let's go over to the coloring tab and see if it brought over the, the color grade. And it doesn't look like no color correction on here. So it didn't bring my LUTs over. So that's just, you know... When you bring it over, just all you got to do is go back through and color it. But at least you don't have to cut everything. Now, see these? Uh, I don't know why it brings over 
two audio files. Now, a couple things to that's not going to come over, like I said, is the After Effects uh, project dynamic link. And another thing that I found that doesn't come over is compound clips. They come over, but the audio doesn't come over. So you got to find a way to resync the audio if you do have that. Other than that, you know, all of the projects that you're working on in the meantime, all you got to do is export them as an XML and then you can bring open them up over in DaVinci Resolve. So that way you can go ahead and leave Adobe alone for good, man. You don't have to keep the program on your computer just because you have old projects that uh, that you edited in Adobe Premiere. You can just export everything that you think you're going to need in XML while you still have access to Adobe Premiere and open it up and resolve. Um, I would do it before you lose access just to make sure everything comes over that you need. But I have a couple of TV shows that I'm editing, um, another couple of other little projects that I'm editing that um, was holding me, was keeping Adobe Premiere and uh, Adobe Project products on my computer. Now I can delete everything and be done with Adobe, period, man. Like I said, I only thing that I need on my laptop that I don't have right now is Affinity Photo. So I got to get the desktop version of that. So that way, like when I'm doing titles and things like that, I can do that in, um, instead of doing it, on, having to go get my tablet and doing it on Affinity Photo on my tablet, I can do it on my desktop, slow up the workflow a little bit. But um, another thing that doesn't come over is text. So if I had text on here from Adobe, from Premiere, it wouldn't come over either. So, but it's easier to do text in DaVinci Resolve anyway. So I would rather do it over here anyway. And uh, DaVinci Resolve has a lot of the same transitions and stuff like that. Um, I didn't test to see if the transitions come over either, but you know the main the main thing is that the chops are there. Yeah. Your edits are there so that you don't have to go back through and do that. To me, that's that that's a big plus so that I don't have to have start the project over from scratch if I need to pull it back up. But anyway, this was just a video for you guys that was thinking about switching over to DaVinci Resolve. But, you know, Adobe was holding you up because you had past projects in it, man. Just save the project XML and you can bring it right up in DaVinci Resolve. Um, I have some more tutorials coming on DaVinci Resolve as I learn them. I'm learning it with you guys at the same time. So as I learn things, I'll be doing tutorials on this project. But this was just a quick tip on how to save your past projects. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check me out in the next video.